Hey, welcome to the vlog, everybody. How's everybody doing? Hoping you're having a great day. Well, here's today's video. So please like and subscribe and share this with your friends. And please hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Enjoy the video. Take care. Hey, we're back. Oh man, look at this crowd. I got stuck in the traffic. Yikes. Oh man, you know what? I just saw on a, a boarded up building over there. Somebody wrote down, excuse my French. Fuck the pigs. What an ignorant idiot. Look what would happen if their house got burglarized or somebody tried to rob them or somebody in their family got hurt or they were involved in some kind of domestic disturbance, what would they do? Of course, call the cops first. And yet they're denouncing police, trying to defund the police, trying to take money away from the police department. And these ignorant people, but you know what? I can understand what's going on in America. People are angry and frustrated because they're not working but most importantly we just have people that are high on drugs really messed up people so um, I don't take things personal I just ignore those idiots because they don't pay my bills but oh uh, yeah we're cruising Del Lake Bear look at the crowds man there's oh there's a lot of cops here too um, the police force is out here. Um, once again, I don't see a lot of people wearing masks. People are congregating in big groups. I'm not sure if people are protesting. I don't think so. Because there's just a lot of people here with kids. Look at this. A lot of people with nothing to do. <laughs> it's a Saturday. Oh, man. It's wonderful to see people out there and enjoying themselves. And you guys out there, my friends, go out there and have fun. Don't be afraid. I mean, look, I see this group of about 10, 15 people. And you're going to tell me that these people um, are going to die because of the corona? But here's our local law enforcement. I'm glad they're around. Because there you never know when some stupid idiots are gonna try to do and incite some kind of bad behavior. Wow, listen to this. We got guys in motorcycles. Look at these idiots. Show offs. They think they are tough guys, but look at the people here. Wow, what is going on here? Are these guys protesters? I'm not sure who they are. All right, we're gonna be back. This music is too loud, I might get a copyright. Hey, we're back. Gee, I made a right turn over there. I didn't realize that the, uh, there was a stop sign there. It's a good thing I seen that. I had to stop really quickly. But that was an unusual thing. When the light turns green, then you come around the corner, which is not even 100 feet. There's another stop sign, so yeah. So that was kind of interesting. But like we're here up in near Uptown again, which is part of West Oakland. And I see a lot of buildings here too that are new. To the right, that's a building called the Sears. Sears Company that used to be a a well-known market, not market, but department store, but um, it's basically been turned into, uh, looks like a probable company, a tech company, but right now it's not occupied, so we'll see. But this area here in uh, downtown Oakland was very up and coming, 
it was uh, developed as a, an, an area where a lot of uh, people working in the uh, tech industry and um, I'm sure there's a lot of buildings here that still have tech companies but tech companies are closed so as you can see we're driving down Broadway now this area used to have a lot of clubs a lot of bars nice places to hang out they call this yuppie town and if you don't know what yuppie is it's a term we used to uh, it's a term for those people who are making six-figure salaries up here. So, uh, we're going to be cruising up here a little bit. Maybe I'll go down. Oh, look. To my right. Is that a restaurant? Well, there's a bunch of people eating outside. So, I guess people are observing that there's a new uh, relaxed regulations for people that they can go out to eat. It's so okay. So, yeah, there are a few tables. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of tables in that place. Yeah, pretty cool. And like I said, this area was basically a, a lot of uh, bars and restaurants. And, yeah, I'm really quite surprised and happy to see that uh, the city here has allowed uh, some of these restaurants to serve food outside. That's cool. So we're going towards um, Piedmont. I want to show you a little bit of Piedmont. But oh, then again, here we go again. We're seeing buildings here to the left and right. These, these areas were blighted. In other words, there were buildings here that abandoned. There was nothing here. But now, I guess a lot of these developers, they buy up the land and they're building all of these, looks like apartments. What is this? What is this, Target? Is that the Target store? Oh my God, they're building a Target in Oakland. Can you beat that? They got a, it's not open yet. There's a CVS. Yeah, it's a Target store, wow. Normally you don't see Target, that's a department store. You normally you don't see that in cities like sanctuary cities or poor democratic cities. Okay, I'm I'm getting on the Democrats again. <laughs> okay, I better stop. But um, these stores like Target are, are usually in cities where they're um, they're rich, the income, the money, they have money. So it's just uh, amazing to see that. And as you can see on the right, there's still a few buildings here too. That's their building. And on my left, I mean, everywhere you look, there is buildings that they're, they're constructing. Wow. Oh, this is a new building here too on Broadway. It's called, the, what is it? The Broadway. Wow. And what's interesting is um, what I like about it when they're building these new buildings, they improve the area, but they're also below some of these apartments and condos. They're building um, places or, or um, storefronts where you could open businesses like maybe a small restaurant, a small market. So they're basically trying to uh, create an atmosphere where people don't really have to go far to go shopping. And um, this is part of Pill Hill. Pill Hill is like the um, area where uh, most of the uh, hospitals are and um, some schools are here. So it's interesting. So we're gonna make a, a ride up here. No, it's not. It's a guy on a bike. I gotta be careful when I'm driving. Sometimes it's hard to vlog, talk, got to be really careful here because there are people on bikes motorcycles like earlier so you don't want to crash but to my right is the big Kaiser hospital a huge facility they were planning to expand even more which is interesting but uh, 
Kaiser's been making one of the biggest hospital chains here in the Bay Area, but they've been making a lot of money. But now people are not tr um, wanting to uh, join the Kaiser plan because Kaiser, although it's years ago wasn't a very good hospital, they're charging a lot of money just to uh, get their medical plan. But this is the big Kaiser Par Permanente here in Oakland. So we'll be back. Welcome back. Um, I got some interesting news that came out just recently, and I think that's a good sign. But it's um, well to me. I think it's a little late, but it's better than nothing. But Alameda County, hang on. Sorry, I just crossed the bridge. But the uh, news is that um, the county health department has allowed restaurants and businesses to uh, serve their food outdoors now. That sounds pretty good. Unfortunately, there are not too many restaurants that have permits to serve food or have tables outside. But at the same time, a lot of these restaurants that are that are open, I don't think they have room to put tables or chairs outside. So uh, I guess you could say it's good and it's bad. But I think what's more important is to, to allow some of these restaurants to reopen and maybe not have tables close together. Because I really miss those times going out to... Uh, restaurants to eat and um, especially some of my friends that have restaurants I kind of like to see them get back into, into making money because a lot of these businesses they this is not their, their sole means of um, their sole means of uh, survival they don't have jobs their businesses are the ones that keep them afloat and uh, yeah so we'll see. I'm not sure if uh, some cities are going to follow this rule because there's been a lot of, uh, by the politicians, the Democrats, yeah, 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 the Democrats. The Democrats that are trying to destroy the economy here and blame it on the president. Okay, I'm not going to get into a uh, debate, but it's true. Just look at it. Look at the nation. Look at Seattle. Look at New York. Those, those cities are really a mess. But, anyway, getting back to the fact that restaurants can have food outdoors will be a good sign. I'm hoping that we'll see more of that. And, uh, and let's try to get uh, these uh, government officials and let's get on their case and let them know that we're tired of all of this nonsense where everything has to be shut down. Nothing, no good comes to life and and uh, liberty if you 
try to scare people into not wanting to go back to a normal life, especially when you want these people trying to control your life. Let's not let that happen. Okay, we're on the freeway. We are headed out to, uh, not sure where we're going. I was hoping to go to Piedmont. Uh, Piedmont is another city close to Oakland, and it's been a progressive place. So let's see. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Well, we're here in downtown Oakland, and um, I've noticed that there is a lot of new buildings up. Looks like apartments or condos. And, man, that's great. And at the same time, it's bad. <laughs> I guess there's really not... Everything's not 100% perfect. There's always going to be some uh, bad bad things that uh, when you do promote progress. But um, there are a lot of buildings here that have been graffitied. But I think people here are... are uh, being smart in that they get a lot of these street artists to come by their building and uh, just paint over that graffiti with uh, art and um, that's great because um, once you start defacing people's property with all of this stupid uh, I don't know just really stupid stuff about their gangs or their their philosophy or their philosophical ideas it just makes the whole city look like a dirty dirty smelly area you don't want that just like this building to my right I, get, I don't know if you saw it the, some guy did some art on there and um, it looked good unfortunately some idiot painted over it but look at this man I mean every building that's not occupied you've got people Graffitiing it. What? Oh, man, some people are so stupid. You hate people sometimes. And there's another idiot driving really fast. I've got to be careful. Remember, it is Oakland. Nobody here has any good intentions. Well, no, I take that back. Most people here in the city are great. And you got a select few who are really retarded. But here, here we are in um, Lake Merritt Park, and I vlogged this last time, and actually, man, it didn't record, so it was a lot of wasted time and effort to uh, vlog here in downtown Oakland, but Lake Merritt is a wonderful place to hang out. It's a huge lake. There used to be boating, but mostly people who come out here jog, and I'm was going to jog here today, but uh, decided it was late, so I decided maybe I'll do it another time, but there's a lot of nice buildings around here, big big tech companies too, um, I've noticed that a lot of uh, young tech people live here because the cheaper rent in Oakland is compared to San Francisco, so... Okay, we're just about to cruise by the lake, so we'll be right back. Interesting. We got the motorcycle riders here with their radios blasting. That's some nice bikes that they have. I actually uh, used to own a, a Harley Fat Boy. And, um, yeah, I gave up riding. It's a, not a safe way to get around. But uh, yeah, everybody's are everybody's out. Look at the parking. Nothing here available. No place to park. But there are tons of people. I don't know if you saw it earlier over there, man. I saw hundreds of people in groups, and they're defying all the order of social distancing. Nobody's listening to government. People are tired. Of the Democrats. But I gotta be careful I don't run over some of these bikers. But I don't know, you can't see people on the left. They're all in the hill, sitting around. Nobody's wearing masks. They're just having a great time eating and drinking. And that's what I need to be doing. All right.
night. Those bikers are going away. They're probably going to go around in circles. But they should kind of trim down their, their stereo radio, man. It's annoying when you have to hear some. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not against rap. But uh, when you start playing some of that rap music that vilifies and uh, promotes hate, and um, anger and violence then uh, I draw the line because as a singer promoter I do rap music too so if you guys ever um, you know want to listen to some of my music please go to my Facebook under City Nights Band C-Y-T-Y N-Y-T-E-S Band I've got a lot of songs that I've composed so I'd really appreciate it if you uh, would try to check it out but, um, oh man, I mean, on my left, I wish I could just turn my camera there, but it's a big homeless encampment, and there's a lot of people there with trash, and I think the city should crack down on that, allowing people to just go anywhere and set up a camp, but most of these camps are just like a lot of mentally ill people, and I've noticed that one of the big things and problems that they do is that they um, just grab any kind of garbage and bring it back. It's just like a, a human dump. Just imagine you got people who are, you know, urinating and doing number two poo poo in their camp and that you bring a lot of uh, garbage that even attracts even more diseases so the, the city the mayor I don't know she's a she's an idiot she hasn't done anything for the city of course she would have to build up her area where she lives and that's one of the best areas in Oakland but while the other areas are bad so well I'm not gonna get into poli politics again but I'm just telling you the truth all right we'll be right back okay are back now forgive me if I sound like I'm yelling it's because my camera is so far from my mouth I'm not sure if the volume or the uh, it's picking up what I'm talking about so I hope you forgive me for that but this is gonna be probably my last vlog here toward today we are in Piedmont Avenue it's a part of Oakland that for oh man for years there's just been wonderful restaurants places to eat takeouts ice cream parlors one of the uh, areas where all the uh, rich people go and so I come here because I'm not rich I come here because I want to see rich people and spend their money but yeah, it's just, uh, it's amazing. There's still a bunch of restaurants here open. Ah, quite a few Chinese and Mandarin restaurants. And um, and there's still a lot of people here that are observing social distancing and wearing masks. And that's good. But, I mean, I wouldn't worry about wearing a mask out in public. I, I still don't understand the... Uh, philosophy of people wearing masks out in public. If you're not too close to somebody, you need to get, your body needs to breathe some fresh air. You're not going to breathe fresh air by inhaling back your germs from your mouth. Usually you should be able to have the germs come out and then breathe in the air. But, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a few buildings here that Oh, here's the, excuse me, here's the ice creamery, of course. That's going to be a popular place. I used to go there. It's called Fenton's Ice Cream. It's a great place to buy ice cream. Kind of expensive, but money is no object here in Piedmont. And there's people here sitting around at the school. And, uh, yeah, you just can't get cooped up at home all day, man. It's just, it's just crazy. You, you, you're just going to lose your mind, especially if you live in a small apartment. Uh, most importantly, you just want to get into a, 
good mood of exercising, getting in that fresh air. But now we're ending into one of the few cemeteries here in Oakland. And um, I do have a few family friends here that are buried here. But I haven't been in this area for quite a long time. And I guess I'm glad I don't because the road here sucks. This is bad. My car is just shaking like crazy. But here's one of the, wow, this is an interesting building here. They call it the Chapel of the Chimes. Let's see if I can go, you make a U-turn. I don't know if you can see it right there. Chapel of the Chimes, that is a big mausoleum. But Piedmont's eh, still kind of uh, slow. I don't see as much people out there. But, um, you know, people don't have money to go out and, and spend to buy food. And there's no fun in when you go to a restaurant, especially your favorite restaurant, and you take out. You know, people want to be served. People want to sit down and chat and talk. But... I'm not sure when any of that stuff behavior is going to come back. It better come back because I miss it and I'm not like a lot of other people too. They miss the uh, the fact that they could go out and, and eat food and uh, like me being a lazy bum who don't, who, even though I'm a pretty good cook and not bragging, but I can cook pretty good, but I prefer going out to eat. But, uh, yeah, there's a uh, few buildings out here and restaurants open for takeout. So, uh, well, this is probably going to be the end of my vlog today. You know, I hope you guys really enjoyed my vlog. Can you please like and subscribe to my videos? And hit the subscribe button at the uh, bottom of the video. I appreciate it. When you subscribe to my videos, don't worry. You're not going to be in trouble. It's just a way YouTube recognizes uh, people enjoy the contact or the content. Excuse me. And um, sometimes if you get a lot of views, they promote it. And people get paid, especially if the content is really popular. So, I, I, I'm not really doing it to make money. Well, not a whole lot of money. <laughs> I like to make money on YouTube videos. But it's just something, you know, to keep me busy. Because the music industry is down. Um, I'm, I was told that live music and bands are not coming back until early middle of next year. So for all you guys who are uh, band members or in bands, uh, better look for a job. <laughs> but anyway, here's some of, some of the restaurants um, that are still here. Some are boarded up, but I'm sure that they're um, trying to survive by opening up right here. I think I've been to this restaurant. What's this? Bar Cesar. Yeah, well, this lady is... Yeah, I've been to that bar. And um, I can see a few people out there sitting down. Look at these idiots over here. Well, they're not idiots. They're, they're just sitting around, listening. There's some music. There's a few bars out here. And... Um, Beloto Bottega. I don't know if that's a restaurant. But, okay guys, I wanted to thank you for being part of the vlog today. I hope you enjoyed the, my little vacation on Saturday. Call, anytime I'm, I'm uh, on Saturday and Sunday, it's like a vacation. So, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And please, once again, like and subscribe. Take care.
that's the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe this video. And please hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.